Lady <laughs> Something like that. I mean, that's basically the dialogue that I'm expecting with this show. But uh, have I started yet? No. Hey, you're right, guys. Trace Munch is Joe here. And today we are watching and reacting to the Bridgerton spin off show, which I had no plans or intentions of doing. When I saw that they'd announced a spin off, I was like, no, I, I can't. I can't. But then I realized it was about uh, Queen charlotte so i was like oh okay that's that's maybe something to kind of latch onto because that's kind of interesting in and of itself and the character is interesting in bridgerton as well so that could be good and i did enjoy bridgerton seasons one and two i just feel like it's maybe too early <laughs> in the bridgerton universe to be doing a spin-off show i thought they really very obviously kind of force fed this kind of out there um, it's only six episodes long though which is another reason and then also there's nothing out at the moment apart from Succession and then Barry I'm watching but I'm not reacting to that so there's been nothing out for like a month and a half now I think the last show we had was You season four and then like Outer Banks season three and that was a few months ago now and then the Glory part two so there were a few but they were like very early on in the year We've had nothing, so I thought, why not? We might as well do it. I'm not doing anything else. Also, I love here on Netflix, it says, rated 15, and then it just says, sex. Cool, cool. So I, I assume there will be sex scenes in this show. But yeah, I'll probably do like one of these every day. We'll see how it does, see how I enjoy it, because again, it is only six episodes, but if it's like really bad, <laughs> then I'm not going into this expecting this to be outstanding or even as good as Brid as Bridgerton but we shall see maybe we'll be surprised about it so episode one guys if you enjoy make sure to leave a like if you're new remember to subscribe as like I say we'll be doing one of these every single day I think the next Netflix show might be Heartstopper season what well, I don't know what's first Heartstopper or The Witcher it's one of those two and they'll be the next that'll be the next Netflix show uh but yeah anyway guys let's do this <laughs> Queen Charlotte, a Bridgerton story, ep one queen to be. That's a mouthful. Do I just call this Queen Charlotte or do I call it a Bridgerton story? I'll call it Queen Charlotte. It is fiction inspired by fact. Okay, or at least we've gotten that out of the way. <laughs> are quite intentional. Okay, they got that out of the way because of all the shit Bridgerton got about how historically inaccurate it is. They're like, yeah, you know what? No one cares. We're trying to have fun here, please. Oh, yes, 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 yes. You know, I'm down for a good romance, actually. I mean, we've not had a romance show in a while. The last one maybe actually was Bridgerton Season 2. I know, we did Young Royals. I guess you could say that. Good pleasure doing business with you, young sir. Whoa. Music kind of goes hard already, to be fair. Hell yeah, this is sick! <laughs> it reminds me of, um... Is it like the Shrek PS2 game? <laughs> I don't know why, it just sounds like music from that game. New intro. This looks like an indie game. This could be like an indie developer's first game or something. I might prefer this to the Bridgerton intro, actually. That's cool. Queen Charlotte here! Wait, in association with Shonda, and Shonda's the writer, so did the writer of Bridgerton, it's like her company. Is that right? You give the appearance of a statue. But that's the first the time someone said something, by the way. All the finest corsets are whalebone. You would know that if you knew anything. Come on, bro. A whalebone, everyone knows that. Choosing to be killed by my undergarments. Charlotte. We have what? An hour to go? I believe if I am diligent with my movements, I could most certainly bleed to my death before we reach London. Like I said, Oh, that's what she was upset, upset about. Okay. Emotional. Off to I London. Understand. Do you understand? You could have told them to choose someone else, someone stupid enough to want it. They did not want someone stupid, they wanted you. Adolphus, think. Why me? Adolphus? Turn the carriage around. I am not doing this. I signed the betrothal contract, you are doing this. No. Yes. Brother, turn the carriage around or I will bounce. I will bounce and I will impale myself on this ridiculous corset and bleed to death. Charlotte! Well, that'll be the end of the show then. And mistakenly think you can make decisions. You cannot. I am in charge. She will be soon, though. Because I cannot make an enemy of the most powerful nation on Earth. It is done. So, 
Shut up. <laughs> Do your duty to our country and be happy. Well, there you go. I've been told to be happy. I need to look perfect when I arrive. Am I not? Yeah, you might have a ball if you're lucky. You gotta have a ball every single episode or a dance. God, everyone's walked so drunk. <laughs> like five minutes or something, people walking. <laughs> Is that Peter Pettigrew? The king? Is he dead? Oh no. No man. Your husband is quite hearty. Long live the king. Quite hearty. Have you no sense? It is treasonous to interrupt my beauty sleep. <laughs> You're lucky True. my face is a rare jewel. Your majesty. If I could still have people beheaded, you would be in the queue. Your majesty. <laughs> Doctor, if the king is not dead... Who is? Oh, that was most satisfying. Dearest gentle. <laughs> Dearest I can't do that voice. I don't <laughs> Sad news of the death of the Princess Royal. Mmm. A baby. Did he just fart? He fought twice. Sorrows. The hell? Yes! <laughs> For the loss of the princess royal is this after season two then i'm going with like in terms of the present day stuff ob obviously <laughs> yo look at them horses doing the trot R how do you do that I don't, I don't even know is the queen's knowledge of how to make a good marriage nothing but talk oh that's some shade being thrown. One thing I do know about Charlotte and George in like real life, not in Bridgerton world, is that they were genuinely actually in love, I think, from what I've heard anyway. I didn't get it from, they didn't tell me that personally, but uh, yeah. Which back in those times was wild to be actually in love <laughs> with someone that you were forced to be with. Teeth? Teeth? Oh, it's Catelyn Stark. She's also in 24, by the way. Hand? Ooh. Brimsley. Brimsley. There is Brimmers. Brimmers. I bought my wedding gown. It is quite a perfect fit. Our gown is traditional. Ugh. Simple. Ugh. Better, but a traditional English gown yeah. will not carry all of the fuss and. So a gown that looks like bread, basically. Warburton's dress. The traditional gown will be more in our fashion. Whatever. For our family. The UK aren't exactly known for their fashion, so I'm going to have to go with... Mm, no. <laughs> On that one, Catelyn Stark. God, look at this room. Did they just repeat steps? I'm very confused. Your Highness. Walk with me. I have questions. Uh, that is not how is it done, Your Highness. Well, it is now. What do you mean? Well, you walk there and I walk back here, Your Highness. What is your name? Brimsley, Your Highness. Brimsley. Tell me about the king. He is the king, your highness. Cool. Yes. Those are all the same things, are they not? They are all facts, your highness. Oh, he's off. Oh, five faces, yes, yes, yes. She is very brown. I did say she had more blood, ma'am. You did not say she would be that brown. But I did say she had more blood. Very brown. Alright. Oh, shitting themselves. Thoughts? It is a problem. I'd be shitting myself too if I had that haircut, you know what I mean? It is a problem. We have already made the trade deals. Can they be cancelled? We cannot cancel the royal wedding on the day. You may need to. It is a problem. Oh, mate. Bloody hell. We shall expand the guest list for the wedding and add to her court. Are you saying... The king is saying. I am only his mother. I say nothing. Ah, yes. The evil mother that's going to get involved far too much. Yes, yes, yes. And add to her court. Of course, ma'am. It is only... The king realizes that the wedding is in six hours. Well, who does not want to attend a royal wedding? Six hours, did they say? Is that a joke? I wonder if they had that guy from Bridgerton who was in the background all the time with the dreadlocks. So like someone's jumping on a bed. Oh, okay. Oh, it sounds, sounds like a balloon deflating. Oh, Jesus. Matt. What? 
It was a good ride. <laughs> He's wheezing, bro. You may nap here, wife. What an honor. Then I have a surprise. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> What the hell? You have been invited to the royal wedding. Oh, have you gone mad? <laughs> oh, could she be, um, I forgot her name, the other character. Her best mate. I forgot her name, let me check. This has a 13% on Shrite. Oh my god, that's the lowest rate thing I've seen. Agatha Danbury, that's the one. Lady Danbury! 13%? That's only based on like 10 votes, to be fair. The show's just come out. I need to use the chamber pot. Are you with me for that too? Off to the shitter. Withdraw. Her uh, Royal Highness requires privacy. And he's pretty good at his job, to be fair. And he keeps his job as well, so he must stay good. <laughs> God, it's so bright and colourful, I love it. It's okay to have a bit of colour in your show, guys. HBO. <laughs> I love you, HBO, but you can add some colour to your shows. It's fine. Do not gawk like a peasant. <laughs> Behave as though you've been here before. He doesn't look like a real person. I, he just doesn't seem real. Have you lost already, Brimmers? Come on. Brimlington. There hasn't been a dance yet. Are you sure this is a Bridgerton story? <laughs> I'm just staring at each other. I am so pleased to have you here with us today on this family occasion. Lord Danbury. Ah, there you go, yeah, Danbury. Lord, I, I, I... You shall be receiving the official proclamation from the King. You are honoured to be Lord and Lady Danbury. Lady now. Danbury, okay. Cool. The... Lady Danbury is like the best character, so... <laughs> It is time we were united as a society, is it not? Ah, Lord and Lady Smythe Smith. Smythe Smith, that is not a name. Imagine. I am imagining. <laughs> there is a problem. Hmm, go on. Spill it. Malfoy! Now, Brimsley. The bride is missing. That's the king, isn't it? God, I was dozing off. That's my dad as soon as he lies on the sofa, to be fair. Ah, this is where the friendship begins. Ah, she's played video games. She knows exactly what you can climb over and what you can't. You can go back inside and wait with all the other... Yeah, this is in the teaser trailer, I think. I'm pretty sure that's the king. If you must know, I'm trying to ascertain the best way to climb over the garden wall. Climb... Whatever for? Because I think he may be a beast. A beast? Or a troll. Who are we discussing? You oh, may... That is impertinent. It's none of your business. You want me to lift you over the wall so you may escape? That is what I said, yeah. People will notice you are missing, will they not? I shall I already have noticed. Now. If you please. I am a lady in distress. <laughs> you refuse to help a lady in distress. I refuse when that lady in distress is trying to go over a wall so that she does not have to marry me. Ah, uh, big plot reveal. Hello, Charlotte. I am George. I am deeply. Your Majesty. Oh, <laughs> it begins. Was it season two where Anthony or whatever his name is sniffed her? God. <laughs> or sniffed the air that she just walked through. She didn't even sniff her. It was actually weirder than just sniffing her. You try climbing a wall in all of these garments. That is a fair point. No one told me you would be this beautiful. You may be too beautiful to marry me. People will talk. Oh, he's slapping on the charm already. Bloody hell. I was born prematurely. And everyone thought I was going to die, but I did not. I am a fair fencer. An even better shot. My favourite food is mutton. Mutton? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> mutton chops. Most of all, I like science. Science? Chemistry, physics and botany. Nerd! God. And I'm very nervous. <laughs> About marrying a girl I am only just meeting minutes before our wedding. But I cannot show it and climb over a wall because I am the king of Great Britain and Ireland and that Why don't you just making it up? I'm not actually the king, by the way. I've let this joke go on for far too long. 
I'm not the king. Well, these two are very clearly into each other already. Lysian. Your your Majesty. You must be the man responsible for my possible future happiness. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Go over the wall instead. Either way, the choice is entirely up to her, Charlotte. Oh, I think she'll show up, I don't know. I hope I see you in there. And if so, I shall be the one standing next to the Archbishop of Canterbury. Hmm, yes, 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 yes. Oh, he seems likeable enough. God, everyone always looks like they're on edge, what is happening. He doesn't look like a George, he looks like a Neil. King Neil. Oh, God, check, is the actor called Neil? Please be called Neil. Oh, he's called Corey. Is that the dress she wanted to wear? I can't... Let me, I didn't see it. I'm just going to take it off, like a Marvel costume or something. Peaceful into place. What? Shiza, she looks beautiful, husband. Because <laughs> she just did her hair, did she? That would have taken like an hour, no? <laughs> I mean, with six episodes in your show, you might as well just get on with their romance. Like, they've not done the whole, we've got to keep it a secret. It's like, we've done that, so I kind of like that. They're just, yeah, you know, we like each other, we get married in one. <laughs> it's done. Oh, this is easy enough. No one's being held at gunpoint. You know, he looks like he's always being held at gunpoint, so maybe someone is. Oh! And the crowd goes wild. Yeah, there it is. He'll start flossing and doing the jig. Just end the show there, honestly. Like, what, what else do we need to see? Come on, mate, get that exercise in. Is that the gym back in the day? Yeah, there it is. We got a dance. Okay, that's good. That's good. I was a bit, a bit worried then. <laughs> A Bridgerton episode about Dan's, what the hell? I'm actually more invested on how Dan, Bree and Charlotte become mates. <laughs> okay, that was a very short-lived dance. What was the point? Take care, your majesty. Adolphus. I shall pray that you are soon blessed with children, ma'am. All right, mate, robot. Your majesty, it is an honor. I'm Lady Agatha Danbury. Yes. I'm to be on your court. And we shall be great friends. Yeah. You actually will. Be careful. Mom. Oh. I know that if you send for me, I shall come. Coming, my dear. Oh, <laughs> my dear. <laughs> Hates him so much. A surprise? Uh, present, really. You shall need your cloak. How oh, doing our modern songs in bridge and style. This is historically inaccurate, actually. Having a halo in the British times. Beyonce wasn't even born yet. <laughs> you will see. Just wait. Is Halo Beyonce? I don't know if I just made that up. No, it's definitely Beyonce. I don't even need to check, but I just want to anyway. We're good. What do you think? It is lovely. Who lives here? It's all right. Why had it redesigned just for you? I suppose officially St James's Palace is our house, but this is where you shall stay. And you shall stay. I have an estate in Kew. Ah, cool. Queens. We are married. Are we not supposed to do what married people do? Just need to spell it out for you, mate. Are you demanding I perform my marital duty to you? I I'm not demanding. I I'm not even sure what marital duty is. I just know. Do we not spend this night together? My governor said that is what happens on a wedding night. Oh, George has got plans of playing poker with the boys. George! George, I cannot keep up. Slow down. I thought you wanted me in the bedroom. Is that not where I should be? No. Oh, mate, no. What's going on? You're going to behave. <laughs> you are angry. This is your home. And that is yours. Yes. I see. You do. Good. So you are all right. What's going on? George, this is how it is to be. This is our marriage. You there and me here. Yes. Cool. Very fun. Easier for whom? You or me? I am not going to debate this with I you. I merely want to understand. You need to at least. Uh, everyone's just stood there, I like. Decide. I have decided. I am your king. Oh, why me? Bloody hell! I thought you were just George. Forgive me, your Majesty. Oh. Charlotte. No, 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 no. You want to tell the mild about it, mate? Go on. Want to say anything else to me? Charlotte, this is for the best. Okay. Course, your Majesty. 
Whatever you wish. Marital problems already. Good one, George. It is my sworn duty to take care of you, Your Majesty, at all times. I do not want you here. Well, it'll stick around for quite a few years. Come used to me, Your Majesty. We can spend the rest of our lives together. <laughs> they actually do. <laughs> God. Are they sober? Uh, Her Majesty, Charlotte, Queen of the oh, United Bloody Kingdom. hell. Keeping Hello, your pants, Majesty. mate. Her Majesty, Queen, Charlotte. Is that Timothy Chamelay? Mummy, it is so early. Mother, you cannot summon us this way. It is not fair. I will not stand for it. Really, we have lied. We have. Oh my god, it is. Is Timothy Chamelay mixed with uh, the guy from the bear? I might have legitimate grandbabies. Instead, virgins to the left of me. Whores to the right. I, mean, I am a married woman. Correctly, you are making sure he's putting it in the right place. Mother, <laughs> the only heir to the throne is dead. He's all her kids. <laughs> oh my god, mate. <gasps> Sorrows. Uh, she does not care about any of her kids. She hates them all. Children, this is a crisis. I've heard from the Prime Minister. She's got a love art in her. <laughs> Make me a royal baby. Well, you can't really expect us to know. It is not a difficult task. Your father and I made 15 royal babies all by ourselves. 15 kids! I do not see why the whole lot of you cannot make just one. God, every time he cries, it sounds like he's fine, or it sounds like a swan. Should have gone over the wall. Uh, maybe. The bed looks kind of comfy though, so maybe not. That's episode one in memory of Jacqueline Avant. Rest in peace. All right, there we go, guys. That is episode one of Queen Charlotte, the Bridgerton story. Um, pretty. Good for or like fine first episode. I won't say it's anything mind blowing. I think the first episode of Bridgerton was better, and the first episode of season two of Bridgerton was better. But as I've said, I've gone into this show with no to little expectations. I'm just do doing it because nothing else is on. I enjoyed Bridgerton enough where I'm happy to watch a spin off to it and not take it too seriously. And I like Charlotte as a, I really enjoyed Charlotte and Lady Danbury. Uh, in Bridgerton anyway so seeing their origins why not it might going into when season three of Bridgerton releases which I'm going to assume is next year uh, it'd be quite maybe late this year but it probably will be early next year um, getting more Lady Danbury and Charlotte there's nothing wrong with that and again knowing that it's only six episodes uh, it's just gonna be a, you know blast through it fairly quickly um, but in terms of its first episode I'm glad they're doing it differently to Bridgerton where it's you know, oh, we're not supposed to be together, or we got to keep it secret. It's none of that. They've gotten married in the first episode. They both clearly like each other as well, but it's more so the the problems going forward of them. I mean, after George's little outburst there as well, but we know they get to a point where he has health problems, and they end up having 15 kids as well, which is wild, but they... They managed to pull that one off, so I'm assuming it's just kind of building up to that. And having it be the flashbacks and the present day as well, uh, I think, helps with the story. But, oh, the music absolutely slapped. It kind of always does in Bridgerton anyway, but the music banged. Uh, and the intro was pretty cool. But, yeah, it's just more of the same at the moment, kind of what we'd expect from Bridgerton. It looks colourful, looks nice, the acting's good. Uh, all the romance, you've got the slow-mo touching of the hands and all that. Uh, so yeah, it, it was fine. I think I, I definitely preferred the first episode episode to Bridgerton, but this is kind of the problem with spin-off shows. And again, I think it's far too early in the life cycle of Bridgerton <laughs> to be doing a spin-off. Like they would, this would have been in the works before season two even came out. <laughs> they would they would have been working on this show. So I mean. Well, fair enough. Like I say, it's not like it's... Oh, is it eight episodes? I said it was... I thought it was six. I'm... Let me just check. I don't want to get that wrong. On Netflix... On Tracked, it says eight, but I'm I'm going to go with what Netflix says, which is which is six episodes, so that's definitely right. Um, but yeah, rating for this episode, I'll go a... I think six out of ten. I think it was a fine first episode. I don't think it was bad. I don't think there was anything exceptional 
with this episode, I think the most interesting thing is, uh, for me, seeing how the friendship of Lady Danbury and Charlotte kind of comes to be. I'm, like, intrigued to see where that goes. And the romance, I'm curious as well, but I wouldn't have, like, oh, I'm shipping them so much or anything like that, kind of. I did ship the couple in season one up to a point, which if you, you see my reactions, you know which point that was. Uh, and then season two, I actually shipped them pretty early on as well. I felt like I preferred season two of Bridge and season one because I just felt like the romance worked better. I don't know. I felt like they had more chemistry in season one, but it, they fumbled it halfway through the season. Um, whereas here, I mean, whereas with season two, I felt like the chemistry just worked and they didn't fumble it. <laughs> uh, so yeah, six out of ten for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Let me know what you thought of this first episode down below in the comments. And uh, let me know if you want me to continue doing reactions to this show as well. Like I said, I'll probably film episode two and three anyway, and then I might as well, at that point, I might as well just finish the show. So, yeah, until next time, guys, take care. Peace.